Hello and welcome back to Pillars. We are in Bikarna's observatory and trying to figure out how to operate the machine uh, that's up top. Apparently we missed, perhaps missed, some uh, books that could help us do just that. Oh, here we go. Ship log of the Tempest turn? I don't know. What have we Maybe that's not it. Leviathan. Fellow Warden Grimoire. But it just really goes to show that we weren't as thorough as we need to be. So we're just gonna go over the whole thing. There is much to see in the What? Did we? Oh, did we? Oh. Yeah, we did see a secret. And we didn't see these last time, so like that's that's important. Well, we didn't have the high enough perception or level to to really see what's going on here and what we need to see. Okay. What's about? Yeah, that, that's the last one. So it seems like uh, we scanned the whole thing, but. Do we have enough information? Because we only found some dumb ship log that I will probably read if we need to. I don't know if that book is relevant whatsoever. Hopefully it is. So let's see. Uh, examine the controls more closely. Read the plaque. I think it's it's referring to some books. Uh, he, he wrote his note, this note to himself. So, do we need to read those books to operate uh, this machinery? Wait, what? The glare of the daytime sun prevents you from detecting any stars. You have to wait for the night. Okay, that's good information. Here we go. Rest and wait, wait till no. Midnight. Do do midnight. Okay, let's do midnight. We're gonna wait till midnight. We have to see the stars. Okay, maybe we have to do this at night. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can pull off. Bakarna, if you're reading this, you've forgotten again. You blasted your mind to bits trying to scribe Bakarna's clarity of thought. I'm sorry. Never doubt yourself. Your years of research were well spent even if no one called you Archmage at the end of them, even if they laughed. I know you remember the legend of your favorite Juana constellation, the Huntress. When you need a little confidence, set the coordinates of the Huntress and the three stages of her tail into, the or into this orrery. You can do more with half a brain than most competent wizards. So get back to work. The problem is, now we have this information about the Huntress. Oh, Hunt, that's it. Okay, seems like it's not that bad. Uh, this volume records the text of a Huana constellation legend. One passage has been underlined. Donning her bandolier, the Huntress set out from her village. She paused on a hill to survey the path ahead. This volume records the text of a Huana constellation. Oh, yeah, yeah. When fog thickened over the path, the Huntress let out a piercing whistle and called for the Kingfisher, who hovered between her eyes and whispered of what lay ahead. The Huntress leaped from her boat in time to 
See it splintered in half as the Leviathan brought down its mighty tail. Reaching for her quiver and finding it empty, the Huntress cast her bow to the ground and resolved to fight the panther barehanded. So we got the Huntress, Kingfisher, Leviathan and Panther. Should we check out the telescope first? Let's check it out. Look for the constellation of the Huntress. You spot the Huntress with ease, her bandolier of weapons standing out as a band of stars. Look for the constellation of the Kingfisher. You note the position of uh, the Kingfisher just above a particularly bright pairing of stars. Look for the constellation of the Panther. You spot the Panther near a crescent of stars, meant to represent the fallen bow. Look for the constellation of the Leviathan. Leviathan is positioned over a cluster of stars in the shape of a shattered canoe. Okay, so we have some information. What now? Enter the coordinates for the Huntress Legend constellations. As the last number settles into place, you hear the sound of dormant gears beginning to turn. A low vibration builds under your feet. Spin it! Spin it faster! Okay guys, we need to ride that. Oh, what? There's some kind of loot? Superb one-handed wands. Spell hits have a 10% chance to charm targets. That's crazy. Huh. So this is a really good weapon to go for if you're a wizard. Hits with this weapon have an 8% chance to cast Form of Helpless Beast. Wow! That's insane! That's a really good step. Uh, when, uh, wand. Summon a pair of drakes to fight for the caster. Okay. Uh, prevents severely injured character. Character's health from reaching zero for a brief moment. Okay. Hits with this weapon at 10% chest to cut. Cast Archimere's Dazzling Lights. On their target. That's insane. 5% chance to cast Crush Damage. Crush Damage Water Wave at target on hit. And of course, uh, just legendary. Damn! This step is. This, this wand is crazy. I have to say, Archimedes Wand is no joke. We also have Bekarna's research. This journal details the wizard Bekarna's studies of the night sky. She built an observatory and crafted specialized instruments to research her theory that some arcane energies originate from incredibly remote sources, perhaps even the stars themselves. Her final entry reads, The stars are either dead zones or my instruments lack refinement. Shouting over their energy signature is a concentration of soul essence moving through the death fire. Enough to justifiably be called a river. Oddly, it seems to pick up speed where it veers off the n to the northeast. As if drawn into a whirlpool. What if what is this region hiding that can exert such tug on reincarnation itself? <sighs> Bekarna. You are in way over your head. Hmm. A whale of a wand. That's something. This wand is insane. This is really good for a... Uh, for someone who casts a lot. I suppose the damage is not really good, but like, instant attack time, recovery time. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Makes me want to consider... Well, that, we can definitely consider that as a main weapon for Watcher, but perhaps we shouldn't. Because the staff just does so much damage. And I suppose 10% chance to charm is 
not necessarily amazing. But still, an interesting weapon. Especially for a, a more tanky caster, I suppose. Perhaps I I can get away with this uh, level of aggressiveness. Because it's because it's not the highest difficulty. We don't even need uh, someone with the shield. For a long time. Uh, of course, Eder used the shield, but uh, not anymore. So we can go back with the with the findings. We can go back to Archimir. But let's not do that. We want more. So we didn't go into Ashen Ma. Botario Cozy. So we have Motaro Cozy over here. Pretty good morale. So Ruin Tower. It's not much here. Sure, just loot. Baranga. Yeah, there are still well, at least some guys that we need to hunt. What is this? Kappa T? Ah, crap. Nah. That's pretty good. Oh, that, but that's only recovery time. Right? It's not as good as action speed. But still, the koiki fruit, not the best. Not the worst. Still, you can eat it. It's cheap. Let's buy some koiki fruit. Let's go. <laughs> if we have nothing to eat, koiki fruit is gonna be okay. Shipwreck. On the lagoon. Did we kill Barunga? Okay, we have so many things to do here, so I probably shouldn't go away. Another whale hunt. Something in the water! Identify it! Ready! Ready cannons! So much things... Okay. Throw explosive at it. Ah, uh, the blister bomb. Oh, crap. Emulator in the water blister bomb you do it failure It took damage Oh, we took it out Okay, we got the meat whatever it's done now A lot of points of interest umaru the pretender Identified location so seems like this is gonna be just a, a Bounty mission Come on, give me the water. There's definitely a lot more going on uh, northeast than uh, southeast. Although it's possible that uh, the bottom of southeast is actually gonna hold something for later because we couldn't explore that. Looks like trouble. What? Come on, go back. After him. Kill the Panthers. The dang spore. Okay, let's do a wilting wind. What? They resisted it? Did they... Yeah, they, they are pretty good at uh, not dying. So far. Jeez. 
giant dank spore. Take him out. Oh yeah, Panther. Rest in peace. Exceptional bow. Damages crush. Grants precision. What? Chance to daze target on hit. Increased chance to daze target on hit if the wielder is a dwarf. <laughs> right. But also there's more damages crush. It's a hunting bow. Exceptional. Sure. Whatever. Can you enchant it further? I don't know, I don't really care. Beast accuracy plus damage slash. That's crazy. Uh just take it. Sure. At that point it's it's a really good hunting bow. But uh Maya is already committed to guns. Uh, partially because she actually has a, a starting, uh, a b well, talent, skill, ability, whatever, that she's better with guns. But that's kind of her story, her, her flavor. She's a sniper. Well, I guess we have to repair the ship. Can check out the shipwreck. We can't go there. Can we? we? Can't. We can't. This is locked off. Wait a second. Doesn't seem locked off, but it it, it is. Sentinel heal. Something's not quite right, but you can't place why. You realize then silence. The wind does not whisper across your skin or stir the tops of the trees. The birds do not whistle and shriek. The chirp of insects is gone. Rounding a corner, the sound of distant chanting finds you. You can't make out the words, only the low drone of many voices raised in unison. Search for the source of the voices! You come upon a rocky switchback path leading up uh, the steep side of the mountain. The chanting voices are louder here, but you still can't make out sense of the words. Continue up the path. <clears throat> the spirits surround a central figure and they all turn their ghostly eyes on you. Alright. Hey Mr. Ghost, I'm just uh, looting. Hope you don't mind. If you have some stuff, uh, yeah, I would be taking that. I guess I'm just a very passionate explorer. Come, sisters, we shall call down the power. Okay. Oh. They're gonna fight me right away. Are they coming? Yep. I could have used the ball as well. That would have been crazy. Me and you are about to mix. Whoa, we're taking some damage. Sotis, push back. Come on, Soti, do the heal. Okay, they're immune to constitution, intellect, might, and perception. Are they immune to? Mind deflections? Can't do it. She's frightened. So we can't use skills. Wait, what? I trust you. How are you here? You say that you trust me? Uh, at this point, I'm not really trusting you. Tom's done. Siren's song. Yeah, exactly. 
That's exactly how I feel about it. Big thumbs down right there. Got interrupted. Some of them died. Can we just terrify them? I'm not sure if it's gonna work. They're terrified. Yeah. They're not immune to it. Do some missiles. What's up with the camera? Hmm. Okay, relatively tough fight. With nothing to show for it. Don't care about that. Yeah. We can blow it up. Why not? Come, guys. Everybody. Sure. Yeah. All right, let's leave. What a strange fight. I suppose Soti might need a better defenses. She went fairly aggro right now. Flooded cave. If you can't even go... It's it's completely blocked off. It doesn't look like that on the map. Which is annoying. Going to the flooded cave. <clears throat> As you traverse the island, you arrive at an area that appears to be untouched by kit hands. Lush plants growing in... Riches abundance around the entrances to several caves, and you can hear the sounds of animals and insects over the crash of waves on the beach behind you. When you walk closer, however, you notice that one of the cave entrances is too uniformly structured to have been created by nature alone. Inspecting it reveals a doorway carved into the aperture of the cave, though a door no longer stands there uh, now. Well, I guess we're going in. No choice of going in or not. Well, I suppose I already chose to go in. Well, I, I actually just ch chose to check out the the cave. Not necessarily to go in as well. Hmm. Not the biggest map. Dargoo Marksman. Them the light. Can we just blow up those uh, pillars? Sigil is not gone. What are these things made out of? Oh, damn it, interrupt. We lost the spell. Come on. Uh, is it chain lightning time? We need some kind of AoE. We can do a delay fireball, which is actually pretty damn good. We never do it though. But apparently it does a lot of damage. As long as we can properly do it. Should be good. Oh, we are terrified? And petrified? Okay, can we affect them with mind afflictions? Because if so, uh, this is acceptable or perf perfect. Uh, that's probably not gonna work on the lich, though. This thing isn't doing the job. No, don't go there. Need something stronger. Okay, we are getting fairly overrun at this point. What are the guys in the back? Uh, they can be potentially terrified. I think we need to do that. Okay. 
We're not getting destroyed anymore. This thing isn't doing the job. See that Ishii. Say your prayers. Hey, chain lightning. Yeah, I just think I'm the leech. Whoa, no. Me too. Langrath displaced the image. Hard to hit. Dead now. Sigil of Darkness would be nice to destroy. Can you take it out? Because now we are taking permanent debuffs. Which is annoying. Superb, exceptional. What about the leech? Ah, oh, this is garbage. I think we need to rest to get rid of these debuffs. It doesn't cause an injury, but you need to rest, or else it's just not gonna go away. Or does it even? Did it even go away? It did go away. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, cap him. Exceptional. Sigil of Pain, Warstone. Sure. Yeah. Hey, Dark Goose Washbuckler. Being slow sucks. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's dead. Sure. So, there's really not much here other than some Leech being busy doing glitch things, nothing particularly you interesting. I don't know. I, I I really can't think of anything that was memorable about this island other than the lich guy. Seriously? Let's call it bones. Before venturing forth. So, we can't go past this, or now we can. Affect your channel. Yeah, we know about the uh, Otario Cozy. We also want to kill Baranga. And apparently, he sucks. Mohara meat? That's what we're eating? This game has a really cool system. Anyway. Let's see. Some clueless pirates. 
Hell yeah! Woohoo! I start celebrating right away. I like the fancy lanterns we got right now. Through a wilting wind. No. Okay. Well, we charmed a lot of them, but but they also killed them really quickly. Oh, Baranga, you're working for us now. Who kills Baranga first? Oh, he's a he's a doggy boy. Ooh, that that was a good hit, Maya. Wow. Okay. That's it. That's disappointing. All right. So, well, we already know about the flooded cave in the. On the Bones Island. So this is the... Well... I don't know. City? Not exactly city, but like this is where the Vahaki... I don't know, I'm not 1% certain uh, about their name. Hungry shows. More whales to hunt. Well, hunt. What? Oh no, it's not that. Beldo points ahead. Reefs, Captain. Some ships cross to save time. We can try it ourselves, or we can go around. Uh, let's not take any chances. What about the shipwreck? We need to check it out right now. Yeah, I already checked out these places. With the exceptional... Of, uh, of course, Motaro Cozy. Motakeu Landing. You disembark on a calm beach. A thick tree line ahead separates you from the deeper jungle. You see evidence that another landing party arrived here before. Booted tracks lead off into the jungle, though it doesn't look as if anyone returned this way. Peer at the tree line! <clears throat> Between the trees you catch a glimpse of shadows that shouldn't be there. You're not alone. Listen. The beach is conspicuously quiet and it takes you a moment to realize what's missing. The chirp or warble of birds. Then you spot it. A solid movement in the tree line. You're not alone. Show your empty hands. I know you're out there. Let's... No, no, no. Charge the tree line screaming and waving weapon over your head. Let's go inland. Let's, let's charge. A tall Juana fighter steps out of the tree line waving his hands to bid you stop he asked in respectful terms for no Putin to speak damn okay that may have been a little bit uh hot-headed um could be considered it, but come on i was told that the, you guys are crazy so i'm just trying to one-up you uh, right off the bat <laughs> The Bohaki warrior crosses his arms and appraises uh, you with a critical eye. A face, face paint adds definition to his already severe features. He stretches his mouth open wide and lets out a prolonged yawn. Great things! You are known to us, outsider. But your presence disturbs me all the same. He cradles an axe in both hands and turns it over with slow, deliberate motions. You step on the grounds of Motare Okozi. I can tell from your expression that you have no idea what this means to our tribe. I know what it meant to your ancestors. This was part of the ancient Huana evocation route. Damn right. Akira, 
You know your history better than I guess. Damn right. You have the favor of the Wahaki. Psst. Which is why I tell you this in words and not in bloodshed. Do not set foot in the jungles of Motare Okozi. It would be a breach of our traditions and a trip through Rakuhu's bowels for the likes of you. I thought my message to the Huana Prince was clear. He needs reminding that to trespass on the jungle ruin is a death sentence. What is so dangerous about Mutara Okozi? We do not venture into the deeper jungle, but we know it for what it is. A place where nature has gone mad. It is not for me to explain the tales of our people, but I warn you to keep your distance. Mutare Okozi has claimed more lives than you would guess. How many? Imagine a number. It is more, I say. I imagine five bajillion. Is it more than that? This island soured in an age when tribes were vulnerable and separated from their kin. It grew teeth where none had sprouted before. Imagine the feast laid out for an opportunistic glutton. Why do you assume the prince sent me? Explorers from Nekataka landed here. You must know by now they did not return. Oh. It is no wonder the prince sent a second group to find the first. He cares more about riches and plunder than the lives of his servants. You were the one who sent the prince that bloody coat, weren't you? Akira, the island is closed to outsiders. All who set foot here are doomed to perish. I hate to tell you this, but your uh, second-in-command guy mimics you quite a bit. It's, it's, it's quite off-putting. I would, I would fire him if I were you. The prince sent explorers into the moor of this island. Stop that. Their drained corpses and bloodied clothes were all they left behind. If Aruihi intends on repeating his mistakes, I am thinking he will not stand for long against the foreigners. To the depths with him, then. Damn. She's haunted as well. Okay, wow. A prince of Nekitaka should put the wishes of his people over his ambition. What is that stance? I find it really hard to believe anyone would go for that. I, f I find it rather dis distracting. I'm looking for a lost expedition and knowledge of the island Ukaizo. He shares a guarded look with the Water Warriors. Something private, buried under layers of exchanged looks and understanding, passes between them. You will find only bones and ruin. Blighted with decay. And worse. Yeah, if it's all the same to you, I wouldn't mind uh, double checking. The deeper jungle is fouled. Nature is wrong here. And your very presence makes her drool with hunger. Her? And Beta holds his silence, but his stare is full of warning. Is that a little bit sexist to say? Well, why, why did the Wahaki protect this island? Why do you... Okay, whatever. We plan for the day when we will recover our past, where we left it. On the shores of Los Dukaizo. What? Okay. While foreigners take our lands out from under us, that future grows more distant. Fair enough. The ruins in the deeper jungle. They are too precious to risk in an outsider's hands. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. I'll be going now. Ruasare does not share my reservations about you. And I have several of those. If you earned her confidence, I would be a poor excuse of a warrior to stand in your way. But I would be an even poorer host if I stood aside and allowed the beasts of the jungle to suck your marrow. You see how I am torn in half. You conducted yourself with honor. Let me do the same and part as friends. Step aside unless you want to earn the ire of, the, of your chieftain. I can handle myself in a fight if it comes to that. I don't doubt it. I am out of practice letting outsiders onto our lands. He sighs to himself and shrugs, kicking sand over the line he drew. May you live to see cleaner shores than these, outsider. Thank you. Did he just send me away? Now what's gonna happen? I want to get in and... Get, get a piece of the jungle. Was it just a warning? 
Will we get attacked if we continue on this uh, perhaps foolish path? Various side, we already looted it. Uh, they didn't care about that. Anyway, um, Motaro Koti. I suppose before we go in, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.